So you saw a bunch of cute Akita puppies on Instagram and now you want one. So you head over to Google and you type in Akita puppies for sale near me. Bad idea. The truth is great breeders don't have to advertise their puppies because their puppies are so in demand they have a waiting list. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find a great breeder to bring home your new American Akita puppy, what questions to ask them and what red flags to look out for. Let's do this. The best place to start your search is at the American Akita Club's website. The ACA was formed in 1960. It's a nonprofit organization that basically just seeks to help maintain the health and integrity of the American Akita breed. They have a code of ethics and conduct that they make all of their registered breeders sign. Finding a breeder on that list is usually a good start. Here are all the questions that you wanna ask any breeder if you're considering getting a dog from them. First and foremost, are their dogs health tested for joint and eye health? For joints, preferably OFA hip scores. That is the most in-depth and trusted source of joint testing in dogs. And will give you a good indication if the puppies from the litter are going to be at a high risk of developing joint issues like hip dysplasia dysplasia, which is very common in large breed dogs. It's also important to ask if the breeder does any genetic testing. Now there's tests like Embark, which claim that they test for over 150 diseases, but keep in mind the diseases that they test for. Of those 150, there are only three that could even apply to Akitas anyway. So while it is good to do, it's not the end all be all, and don't let a breeder tell you that there's going to be no issues and no other health testing done because they've done the Embark test. Ask the breeder if they do any temperament testing for the puppies like the Volard test. This is going to be a good indication of what the puppy is going to be like as an adult. It can help a breeder more accurately place the puppies in the right homes. Always inquire if a breeder shows their dogs and if their dogs are champions in the AKC confirmation ring. I wouldn't say this is 100% absolutely necessary, but it is indicative of someone who is really interested in maintaining the health and integrity of the Akita breed. You really shouldn't be breeding dogs unless you're testing the dogs for some type of integrity or specific characteristics. Always ask if the puppies are going to be coming with any type of microchips, vaccines, or registrations. These are things that are pretty standard, so if someone's not offering them, that means they're probably trying to cut corners to make more money, and that's a red flag. I would also recommend that you ask the breeder for two references, preferably other breeders. Really good breeders are interested in promoting and maintaining the standard of the Akita breed. They're not doing it solely to make money. So if they don't have any puppies available, they'll have no problem referring you to another great breeder. Where backyard breeders and puppy mills aren't gonna wanna send you to their competition, so they're unlikely to be able to provide a reference that comes from another breeder. So the last question you're gonna to wanna to ask is if you are going to be allowed to breed this puppy once it's an adult. Really good breeders are super selective about who they sell puppies to. So if that breeder says, sure, you can breed that puppy without any further questioning, that's a huge red flag. Now that you know what questions to ask, here's a list of red flags to look out for that should push you off from working with any breeder. First and foremost, if they say that they don't do any health testing because they never had a problem, that is a huge red flag. With an actual health test, they can point to that and say, look, our dogs have healthy joints. To say you've never had a problem, who knows if that's true or not. That's just not legitimate enough for me to take them at their word. So I would absolutely pass on any breeder that says anything remotely close to that. Next, if a breeder is running ads on Facebook, Google, YouTube, Instagram for their puppies, or they're doing a sponsored post on like the AKC puppy marketplace even, I would be very hesitant about that. Again, good breeders usually have a wait list. They have more people who want the puppies than they actually have puppies available. So if someone's trying to promote the sale of their puppies, they're probably just doing it for profit and I would absolutely avoid that. Next, if a breeder does not have a very thorough puppy application or no puppy the application at all, that is a giant red flag. Breeders should be asking you just as many questions as you are asking them. And really good breeders might actually want to come to your home or at minimum see photos of the living space to know that they're sending the puppy to a good home. If a breeder is not thoroughly screening you as a buyer, do not get a puppy from them. Also be on the lookout for any breeder that sells multiple breeds of dogs. While it does happen sometimes, most ethical breeders focus on one specific breed. So if someone's selling Malamutes and Huskies and Akitas and another breed, I would probably steer clear of them. The same goes for anyone that's selling designer breeds like Akitas crossed with pit bulls or something like that. Absolutely no way I'm buying a dog from those people. You should definitely be doing some type of background check on the breeder themselves. Type their name into Google 
Google, see what comes up. Type in their name followed by criminal record or police report. Check to see if they've been charged with any crimes recently. And if there's anything at any point in time that's animal related, I'm absolutely not supporting that business. Unfortunately, there are marketplaces online that simply don't screen for that kind of thing. When I was initially looking for an American Akita before we got Haga, I found a breeder on the AKC Puppy Marketplace. And when I looked him up on Google, he had literally done prison time for animal abuse, had gotten out and was then breeding dogs again. Another red flag is charging more for a specific sex or a specific color of dog. Obviously it doesn't really cost more or less to breed one color of dog or another. So charging more for a specific color or charging more for a boy versus a girl is literally just a way to squeeze more money out of people because that's what that person wants. And if the person's doing it for profit and not for love of the breed, that's a big red flag for me. I'm not buying a dog from them. And another red flag you wanna look out for is anyone that says that their dogs have champion bloodlines. Either your dog is an AKC champion or it's not. If a dog has champion bloodlines, that doesn't really mean much in the dog showing world. And so it's really just a marketing ploy. Now we've tried to be as thorough as we can with our list of questions you should ask and red flags to look out for, but this is still not an exhaustive list. If you are looking into a breeder and they're failing one, two, three, four of these things, definitely walk away from them. But if you have any questions about a breeder that you're looking into and you're not sure, feel free to drop a comment. If I don't know the answer, I'm sure I can find someone who is familiar with that breeder and let you know if it's a good choice or not. And if it seems like I work really hard to talk you out of getting an Akita, check out this video right here where I explain why that is.